Let us have a look at some exercise problems. Question 1. Let triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF, and their areas are 64 cm square and 121 cm square, respectively. If EF equal to 15.4 cm, find BC. Solution. It is given that triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. AR of ABC by AR of DEF equal to AB by DE whole square equal to BC by EF whole square equal to AC by DF whole square. Make it as equation 1. Given that EF equal to 15.4 cm, AR of triangle ABC equal to 64 cm square. AR of triangle DEF equal to 121 cm square. As we need to find BC, we are considering this equation. AR of ABC by AR of DEF equal to BC by EF whole square. On substituting the values in equation 1, we get 64 cm square by 121 cm square equal to BC square by 15.4 cm square. This implies that 8 cm by 11 cm whole square equal to BC by 15.4 cm whole square. This implies that BC by 15.4 equal to 8 by 11 cm. On doing cross multiplication we get BC equal to 8 into 15.4 by 11 centimeters. This implies that BC equal to 8 into 1.4 centimeters equal to 11.2 centimeters. Therefore, BC equal to 11.2 centimeters. Question 2. If the areas of two similar triangles are equal, prove that they are congruent. Solution. Let us assume two similar triangles, that is triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF. AR of ABC by AR of DEF equal to AB by DE whole square equal to BC by EF whole square equal to CA by DF whole square. Make it as equation 1. Given that AR of ABC equal to AR of DEF. Therefore AR of ABC by AR of DEF equal to 1. By substituting the above values in equation 1, we get 1 equal to AB by DE whole square equal to BC by EF whole square equal to CA by DF whole square. This implies that 1 equal to AB by DE whole square 1 equal to BC by EF whole square and 1 equal to CA by DF whole square. This implies that AB by DE equal to 1, BC by EF equal to 1, and CA by DF equal to 1. This implies that AB equal to DE, BC equal to EF, CA equal to DF. Therefore, by SSS congruence criterion, we can say that the triangle ABC is congruent to the triangle DEF. It can be written as Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Question 3. D, E, and F are respectively the midpoints of sides AB, BC, and CA of triangle ABC. Find the ratio of the areas of triangle DEF and triangle ABC. Solution. Let us draw a triangle from the given specifications. D and D are the midpoints of triangle ABC. Therefore D is parallel to AC and E equal to 1 by 2 AC. From the figure, we can say that in triangle BD and triangle BCA, the corresponding angles are angle BD equal to angle BCA and angle BD equal to angle BAC. And the common angles are angle BD equal to angle CBA. Therefore, triangle BD is similar to triangle BCA from AA similarity criteria. This implies that AR of BD by AR of BCA equal to DE by AC whole square. Make it as equation 1. Given that DE equal to half AC. By substituting the above value in equation 1 we get. AR of BD by AR of BCA equal to half AC by AC whole square. This implies that AR of BD by AR of 
BCA equal to 1 by 4. This implies that AR of BD equal to 1 by 4 into AR of BCA. Similarly, AR of CFE equal to 1 by 4 into AR of CBA and AR of ADF equal to 1 by 4 AR of ABC. Therefore, AR of DEF equal to AR of ABC minus AR of BED plus AR of CFE plus AR of ADF make it as equation 2. On substituting the values of AR of BED into AR of CFE and AR of ADF in equation 2, we get AR of DEF equal to AR of ABC minus 1 by 4 into AR of BCA plus 1 by 4 into AR of CBA plus 1 by 4 into AR of ABC. This implies that AR of DEF equal to AR of ABC minus 3 by 4 into AR of ABC. This implies that AR of DEF equal to 1 by 4 into AR of ABC. Therefore AR of DEF by AR of ABC equal to 1 by 4. Question 4. Prove that the area of an equilateral triangle, described on one side of a square, is equal to half the area, of the equilateral triangle, described on one of its diagonals. Solution. From the figure, let ABCD be a square of side, A. Therefore, it's diagonal equal to root 2A. Here, two equilateral triangles are formed. They are, triangle AB and triangle DBF. The side of an equilateral triangle, triangle AB, described on one side of square equal to A units. Therefore, side of equilateral triangle that is, triangle AB is A units. Side of an equilateral triangle, triangle DBF, described as one of the diagonal equal to root 2A. We know that, equilateral triangles, have all its angles as 60 degrees, and all its sides of the same length. Therefore, all equilateral triangles are similar to each other. Hence, the ratio between the areas of these triangles, will be equal to, the square of the ratio, between the sides of these triangles. Area of triangle, B by area of triangle DBF equal to, A by, root 2A, whole square, equal to, 1 by 2.